Hey everybody, today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Vredestein Tires. Look, here's the deal. Most ultra high performance tires are fine on dry, warm and sunny days. But what about when it gets a little cold? What about when it gets a little wet? What if there's a little dusting of snow? Vredestein Tires are not very well known in North America, but they've been a staple in Europe for over a hundred years and they know cold, all weather, high performance. These things are rated at up to 186 miles an hour if you happen to be mobbing on the Autobahn or doing track days, but also the compound is designed to handle colder temps and wetter conditions just as well. The tires on Zach's car, the Hypertrack, were developed specifically for the North American market and North American driving conditions, and they've been working out really well. When I drove this car in the rain on the highway, I was amazed at how stable it was and how much grip it had on off ramps and on ramps. I felt really, really secure on these tires. And when we took it to the canyons and did our video review, both of us were pretty blown away about the amount of grip it had in the dry. I'm not getting a lot of road noise. In all season, you can mob. Hit the link in the description to check out the full line of Redestein tires available exclusively at TireRack.com. Hey everybody, uh, this is obviously an incredibly cool opportunity. I'm here at Brainerd International Raceway in Brainerd, Minnesota, uh, an interesting three mile road course that has one of the fastest right hand corners in all of North America. And uh, my friend Lee Keen, and Ryan Gates and 311 RS Racing have given me an unbelievable opportunity to drive their 992 generation GT3 cup car, the race car. No more motorsport theater. Now it's real motorsport. Uh, this thing has a four liter flat six, making 510 horsepower and 346 pound feet of torque. It redlines at 8750. It has a six speed sequential gearbox that weighs 100 pounds less than PDK. It has electric power steering and electric shifting. You, both of those used to be hydraulic. They're now electric. You've got that double wishbone front suspension like we were talking about in the GT3. 305 slick front tires, folks. Uh, there's lots of aluminum in the body to save weight. Uh, and the dry weight of this car, that's how they measure race cars, is 2770. So it's 1% per lap faster than the old car. Believe it or not, that's a lot. Okay, it has polycarbonate windows. It's got a beautiful, bright 10.3 inch color screen that allows you to do all kinds of stuff. And it broadcasts this information back to the pits in real time. So your engineer is seeing your telemetry in real time. It's cheaper to maintain than the last cup car. You got 100 hours before the engine needs an overhaul, 60 hours before the gearbox does. And uh, the new cup cars come with complete accessory kits to adjust and uh, maintain. $300,000 uh, race car. Um, and they are smart, nice, or dumb enough to let this old fat man have a go. So it has been raining earlier in the day. The track is now dry. I did get, full disclosure, a few warm-up laps because I don't like to jump into crazy race cars cold. But we're going to go take some laps together uh, and see what it is like to drive the new cup car on a big, fast racetrack. All right, I'm ready. Should we do it? This is all beautiful. I mean, carbon dash, everything. So you have a clutch pedal, which you need uh, when you come to a stop. To get the vehicle going, I'm just going to lift. You don't give it any gas. You just ride the clutch a little bit until it's rolling like a uh, half throttle so
obviously, the sound was so loud in there, I could barely hear myself think, let alone talk. And I was pretty much screaming at full volume. But the only thing more intense than the soundtrack was the grip. I have pretty much never felt anything like it. Although the turn-in of a 911 GT3 RS streetcar is incredibly impressive, nothing prepares you for how hard you can turn the steering wheel in something like this. Whenever you think you're out of grip, you just turn the wheel harder and it goes more. This is the part of the drive where the G-Forces literally sucked the microphone wire out of the audio recorder. With only two 20-minute sessions to get used to the car, I clearly was not going to set a qualifying time on the pole. But Lee Keen demonstrated to me later in the day that it was actually possible to take turn one flat at 168 miles an hour. Compared to something like the BMW M6 GT3 or the Bentley GT3 with big turbocharged front engine rear drive layouts, this is actually quite manageable. With quote, only 350 pound feet of torque, it's actually easy to get on the throttle early and not worry about oversteer. The big takeaway from this cup car is not just that it was very fast, I expected that. It's actually how nice and easy it was to drive and how comfortable it would be for a half hour, 30, 40, or even a 90 minute stint in an endurance race. It's frankly, just a very nice place to be racing.
here's the thing. If you are serious about going to the track, this is so much further beyond anything streetcar based that it's not even worth doing that. This is just, this is so crazy. The turn in, the grip, uh, the brakes, the performance, the, all of that is so far beyond your normal streetcars. And yes, we have slick tires and, you know, but um, considering what I've seen people bring to track days and how much some of that equipment costs, uh, this is pretty, pretty far beyond, uh, beyond that. And so, I mean, what an unbelievable experience. I'm so glad I got to come out here to Brainerd and have a go. Uh, I'm sorry if we didn't get proper audio. We will make, we will make do with what we have. I promise there will be a video, uh, at the end of this. And, uh, thank you to Ryan, to Lee, and to the entire 311RS team. Uh, go check out their stuff in the, in the, in the video description. Give them a follow on the gram and keep up with Lee racing this car to podiums in the uh, in the Super Cup series. So, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. And remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off the Record app available in the Android and iOS store or go to offtherecord.com/tst.